So good. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rotating. Um, every time we make a circle, we're going to rotate a little bit, 137.5 degrees. And so um, the geometry that we're going to be rotating is the line. So we have to make the line and then rotate the line and then get the end point. So I'm going to push this out. I'm going to push this over here. I'm going to push this up here. And I'm going to put the line into the rotation geometry. I'm going to put the geometry coming out of that into the curve. Oops. So if I do that, as soon as I put that in there properly, it'll take the other one away. See, it only likes one input. So there. So now I'm getting the um, end point of the rotated line. Okay. We're going to be rotating that line about a vector. The vector is the z, so we're going to use that z vector one more time. And that's going to be from there to there. And that's a little hard to see, so I'm going to move it down like that. Okay? Good. And then the rotation point, what we're going to be revolving about, is 0, 0, 0 also. So I'm going to put that right into there. Okay, so, so far, everything's just very understandable, right? Easy. Now we get a little more, a little bit more sophisticated.